tell us more about Basketball Without Borders or the ones that we are expecting to do it? Yeah, uh, I think everything is set. Uh, uh, the BWB camp will take place in Senegal. Uh, this is going to be from 27th up to 31st. So from Tanzania, we have already got one entry uh, for the boy, and that is uh, Daudi, Daudi Maiga. So uh, looking back into last year performances and the Tanzania participation, uh, I'm still proud and uh, I'm quite sure like Daudi is going to make us proud again. Because last year we had uh, Jessica, Jessica and uh, Atiki, but uh, Jessica uh, performed real well, she even managed to make it to the All-Star game, uh, so that, that was really, really, really nice. And on the other side, as a coach, I had an opportunity as well, just being as a chaperone, and I had a chance to gain more experience on the court with the NBA, I mean with the NBA coaches, NBA players, just working with them on the same floor, and uh, when I came back, we had to share what we learned there from the coaches side uh, I had some session with my fellow coaches and uh, another good good thing when we came back uh, I mean Atiki and uh, Jessica they conducted a basketball camp for their young 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 fellows it was really, really amazing uh, for the case of uh, last year's there were two players yeah. uh, but this year we have one player what, what went what went wrong yeah, I think uh, this is another area where we really need to keep learning and being ready when you're supposed to be ready. It's like uh, we delayed in getting passports for the selected girls, so we couldn't get uh, involved in this one. But, uh, to me, it's like lesson learned. So we need to keep preparing in advance before, because uh, this program is ongoing between FIBA and uh, It's a good performance, I can say that, because uh, the good thing with his height, he got some skills, he can play like uh, position two and three, and sometimes at, uh, at post, so he's six, six, and uh, he attended like, uh, prior to this, he, he had been to Giant of Africa, where he was selected for an all-star team, so I have uh, great expectations that he's going to perform well. Uh, could this be the the the, the in initiative for, for our GOA meeting uh, with Masai Ujiri, or this is, has nothing to do with the GOA initiatives con, con, conduction in Africa? Yeah, from from what I understand about these two programs, they have something in common. Like when you you do you you attend uh, basketball without border, that's consists of top. 60 players in Africa. So, uh, and uh, initially it was started by Masai Ujiri at the beginning. So now he's running his program, which is uh, Giant of Africa. So Giant of Africa covered a wide range, which means they're gonna do like uh, select 50 top players in a country. So you can see like uh, for Giant of Africa, it goes wide. It, uh, but when you go to uh, BWB, it narrows the sports. So it takes all the top best. So to me, it's like uh, I really envy these two programs because uh, it's something we really need in Africa. Yeah, and it should go beyond that, even go to coaches training, like how they do. And uh, yeah, so that, that's the only big difference between those two. But the biggest goal is getting players, top players in a certain area or within the region and take them to, 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 to NBA, expose them to the scouts who can help them get their way to NBA.